Hello and welcome to the Easy Solution Systems tutorial videos. I'm Jesse Brown and today we'll be going through setting up loyalty points in Retailman. So firstly, we're going to go to the Maintenance tab. We're going to choose System Setup. And then we're going to click on the Payments tab. And here we're going to click on the FPOS row and press the down key. Under payment name, we're going to type in loyalty points. Next, we're going to type in 8040 under the sales account. This will give us discounts given. Next, for purchase account, we're going to type in 7040. This will give us miscellaneous income. We're going to click save. We're going to click on system setup again. And we're going to click on loyalty. Here, you can see points to redeem. This is the amount that you have to reach in order to redeem your points. So for example, if we do 1000 points to redeem and we do for the amount of $10, we have received 1% of the payment of the amount that we have spent as loyalty points. If you have set up your points to be received as per dollar, then this would be the case. So we're going to do 1,000 points to redeem. Note that you can also do $50, $100, depending on the percentage that you would like to do. It's entirely up to you. We're going to do days of expiry as 100. Zero means that there is no expiry date. It may be best to set an expiry date as it will force people to redeem their points. Payment name. We're going to choose loyalty points. And for this demonstration, we're going to do redeem now. I'll explain later about the box being unticked. But for now, we're going to leave it ticked. We're going to close this and we're going to go into stock. We're going to choose add modify stock. Here, we're going to click modify on the first item. Here, you can see points value it is default set to zero let's say for example we change this to 10 this would mean the client would receive 10 points to redeem once this item has been sold to them if we choose to do negative one the point value will be zero this means that no points will be given and if we choose zero this means that per $1 is the amount of points received. One point per $1. But we're going to do 10 for this. We're going to save. Next, we're going to choose new. In this section, we're going to set up a service item called loyalty points. So up the top, we're going to choose part number and we're going to type in LP. For me, the loyalty point service item already exists. So this is automatically filled out for me, but you will have to type all of this in. Part name, LP, item details, loyalty points. And up in the top right corner, you can see where it says item type you will need to change this to service item. Here you can see the points value is one. We're going to keep it at one. By default, it may be at zero. Note that you must keep the sell price at zero. You mustn't change it. This is important. You do not want to charge someone more for no reason. We're going to click save. So by doing all that, we are able to now manipulate the client's points, either adding or subtracting. Next, we're going to activate the client's points by choosing stock and add modifier. We're going to modify a client and we're going to choose join loyalty. Here, you can see the date that they have joined as a client to your business and underneath zero points. We're going to save, close, 
we're going to go to POS and point of sale menu. Here is where we're going to manipulate the amount of points given to a client. So up here, we're going to click in this box here. Here you can type in the client code, client phone number, client name, or client mobile. Any of these will work to bring up the client. But in my case, I'll type in the code. Once the code has appeared, you'll notice that part number is blue. This means that you can type. We're going to type in LP and add loyalty points to this. Now you can see that this has been added. We're going to click quantity 1000 and enter. We're going to save. This means that we have added 1000 points to the client. We're going to re-enter the code and here you can see points are at 1000 and not zero anymore. If you would like to subtract, we do the same method, LP in the box and enter. And in quantity, we will type negative 600 and enter. If we were to click save, this would mean that the client would have 400 points instead of 1000. Here we're going to type in the client code again. And now we're going to click in the box to add an item. We're going to choose the first item that we see, for example, and we're going to click the pay tab. This will bring up payment. And as you can see here, loyalty is $10. You can click this, $2.50 out of the $10 worth of points will be deducted to pay for the item. This means because there is $10 worth of loyalty and there's $2.50 to pay, 250 points will be deducted from the client's points. If you would like the client to be able to pay later, almost like a gift card, we need to go to maintenance, system setup, loyalty, and choose redeem now as off and save, close, and we're going to choose pay. Here you can notice that loyalty points $10 in brackets has disappeared. Because we have turned off that option, they can no longer redeem their points immediately at payment. Instead, we're going to click loyalty points. And here, you notice that there is a docket number. This means that once they have paid the item, the receipt that has been printed out will have a docket number on it, and they can come back and use this docket number anytime to redeem their points. We hope this video has been helpful, and we hope to see you again soon. Thank you. Bye.